Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams, dominant athletes, worldwide superstars, direct descendants of King Louis X? What's going on? I'm Melissa Salvatore for 8012. Yep, from Pete Sampras to Margaret Court, they can all thank 14th century royalty. That's because you can trace tennis back to France in the 1100s, a game called jus de palm, game of the palm, since people hit balls back and forth with their hands. Louis X ruled in the early 1300s and loved the game. He hated playing outside though, so he had special indoor courts made with walls. Diva. But he popularized the sport, and the outdoor tennis we know evolved in the mid-1800s when the lawnmower made it easier to maintain outdoor courts. Three different men came up with tennis-like games that eventually melded into the current sport in England. The first tennis club opened in the UK in 1872, and five years later, we got our first Wimbledon. It's only a rumor Queen Elizabeth was at that one, too. Unconfirmed. American socialites brought the game here after seeing it played in British territories. Soon, we, France, and Australia, too, all had national championships that make up the Grand Slam today. The International Tennis Federation came up with rules to standardize the sport in 1924. It stayed an amateur sport until 1968. Welcome to the open era and tennis as we know it. Legends like Bill Tilden couldn't make any money playing in the 20s and 30s. Roger Federer turned his game into $9 million in winnings and $45 million in sponsorships last year. The professionalization of the sport has turned tennis into a $5.5 billion dollar industry. Think about this. The prize money for Wimbledon in 1968 was equivalent to about 46,000 in today's money for men, 17 grand for women. Last year, Novak and Serena each took home 2.8 million dollars. With that kind of cash, Louis X might have been able to afford a racket. The score is always love here at 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like our videos. No, you have to tap like. You can't swipe right on me.